I'm loving 2020 movies so far. <laughs> So we have Like a Boss. Like a Boss stars Rose Byrne, Tiffany Haddish, and Salma Hayek, and is about two women, played by Rose Byrne and Tiffany Haddish, who are roommates and business partners in the beauty industry. When they find out that they are thousands of dollars in debt, they contact a businesswoman, played by Salma Hayek, and she makes them an offer they can't refuse. Because of this, their true colors end up showing through to each other, And they also try to please their new business partner. Like a Boss looked awful from the trailers, and I can definitely confirm this is an awful movie. This is an embarrassment, not only to the comedy genre, but to cinema. These have to be two of the most underdeveloped characters put on screen. It literally made me not care about their entire situation or the outcome of the situation. Tiffany Haddish is also the most annoying person working in cinema. We all know she's going to make a gajillion movies this year because she's Tiffany Haddish and apparently she's all the craze right now. She's annoying. I cannot stand Tiffany Haddish. I did not like her character. I did not like her in the movie. I, I It's just that voice. Ugh, I can't get it out of my head. Rose Byrne looks really uninspired. Just doesn't look like... She wants to be here. She looks like she's questioning as to whether or not this was a good career move for her. You can definitely tell she knows this is a January movie, so she doesn't have to give it her all. I would say this is a paycheck movie for her. This is her paying her overdue rent to her landlord. Three things are at play in mixing together here. Underdeveloped characters, annoying or uninspired actresses, and the fact that these two just don't have the chemistry. Rose Byrne doesn't have the chemistry with Tiffany Haddish, nor does Tiffany Haddish have the chemistry with Rose Byrne. It, can, it goes both ways. Neither of them have the chemistry with Salma Hayek. Everybody just looks awkward and out of place. All of this just made me not care about their situation. There is no way these two would ever be best friends. The movie tries to sell it, but it fails because these, these people are just complete polar opposites and you there is no way you would ever believe that with those two polar opposites and personalities that they would ever succeed at creating a business and being successful with that business which apparently now they're not because January movies lack logic. The biggest crime this movie commits is that it thinks it's funny and it's not. I did not laugh once during this entire movie. This entire movie is really poor comedy. The comedy in this movie just involves sex jokes. And those can be funny if they're staged right and you have the right writers, but you can tell that these writers have no sense of humor and that's the last thing they could think of. That's the ultimate easy way out for these writers, that they just resorted to every single joke about sex in the book. These jokes in this movie feel like something that appeals to the young tweens or the teenager crowd, never to the adult comedy crowd. It never feels like it goes that far. And with the attempts at humor in this movie, I gotta say that this movie is the exact prime example of a movie who tries to show off all of its comedy in the trailer, and then you watch the movie, and you've seen all the so-called funny parts in the trailer because nothing else in this movie was even funny. Not even those moments were funny. Because I didn't laugh. This is supposed to be a comedy. I was so bored. I felt that this movie was dull, that it was poorly directed, and just uninspired. It just felt really lazy. The attempts at humor are also placed at awkward points in the movie, and it comes across as awkward, and all of it, every single attempt, feels forced. That is literally the worst thing you could say about a comedy. This movie probably does have a message to convey, but I really couldn't pick up on that message because if there is a message, that message just got lost in the shuffle of all these poor jokes that weren't even that funny, these underdeveloped characters that I didn't really care about or their situation that I didn't really care about, and it's lazy, cliched screenplay, and it's poor directing. So I have no idea what on earth the message of this movie is. 
it just got lost in the shuffle. That's what makes this such a dull, boring, uninspired comedy. And this movie's only 83 minutes with credits. It felt like an eternity because I am the boss of this channel and my own reviews, like a boss gets out. I'm done talking about like a boss. January 2020 has been the greatest month ever for movies. I'm seriously kidding. I did see 1917. I'm actually not going to be reviewing 1917. If I see any more 2019 movies, I will not be reviewing them, unfortunately. I thought 1917 was great. So that was a little, that was a nice little movie to squeeze in between The Grudge and Like a Boss. Hope I'll hopefully be seeing Underwater next week. So I hope that's at least watchable. From what I've heard, it's really not that good. But... We'll see. What did you guys think of Like a Boss? Drop me some feedback in the comments section below. I will leave my link to my website in the description below. All my social media accounts are there. Stay tuned for more reviews coming soon, especially thank you videos for helping me hit 1,000 subscribers, more James Bond reviews, and more reviews of new releases. You guys are the best. Thank you for watching. My name is Alex Madden, and I'll see you at the movies somewhere.